What's, what's the best thing you've done from your position of power here in Milford to keep taxes low? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Question for you. Um, I'm an independent reporter. Uh, okay. I'm wondering. Uh, wasn't completely prepared, but uh, I'm wondering what's what's the best thing you've done from your position of power here in Milford to keep taxes low, or to keep them from going up? Well, uh, I've only been here a short time. I've only been here. I'm finishing up my first term. Uh, but I think that I hate to single out one specific incident. It's just taking a look at the budget overall, and realizing where we are and what the needs are of the of the community of the town and of the tax base that's collected and trying to reasonably spend money uh, responsibly spend money I, I guess is the best way to say it um, to keep taxes as low as we possibly can but keep a level of service that the that the town expects is there anything that you can take credit for cutting out in, in spending uh, single-handedly no because the board works as a board, so yeah. we, do, we do it all together. So, but uh, so I mean, I, you know, I don't single anything out specifically. It's we vote as a group of things to, to be in or out, and that's just how Milford works. It's a group of five. I noticed that your police department is pretty active in pushing this. Uh, you know, uh, don't put your cell phone to your ear anymore. Keep your cell phone down. Um, the, do you support them in you know, trying actively trying to keep people from using their cell phones? I support the law, absolutely, and, uh, and I'm going to have difficulty doing it myself. I, I have a, a wireless headset that uh, I'm going to have to get used to using, and, and uh, I think you know, texting and driving or using your phone and driving, and I'm a, uh, and I'm a, a, a big proponent for technology. But it's it's a retraining that everybody's going to have to have to go through, and it's you know I think it's just to keep everybody safe. I got to admit, it's kind of nice to have them actually informing people as opposed to just in, you know enforcing a law that no one's ever heard of. However, how much money is it costing to put all these signs up informing people, you know, all that literature? Well, I I don't know uh, to be honest with you. I, I I couldn't put a dollar figure to it. But what I can say is, uh, of all of the laws to enact and something to absolutely publicize, this is one of the ones that I would support them doing it with because it, you're talking about when it comes down to it, and the law itself you're talking about is life safety, and you can't put a dollar amount. Well, on should life we force safety. everybody to wear helmets while they're driving? I mean, well, <laughs> you, you're, don't don't split hairs. We're talking yeah. about this. We're talking about this law, and I think again, we're talking about life safety. And my personal preference, I'd love to see everybody wear a helmet. I, am I going to be the one to say everybody has to wear a helmet? Absolutely not. This is the Granite State. Live free or die. But. Will I make my children wear a helmet when they ride their bicycle and when my children come of age to buy materials to, you know, buy motorcycles and things like that? You know, I, I'd support them 100%, but I'll be the parent telling them to wear a helmet. Keep themselves as safe as possible. All right. Well, I appreciate the answers. What's your name? No problem. My name is Kevin Federico. Okay, Mr. Federico. Thanks much. No problem. Driving in circles around Central Keene. I hurl both insults, angry and mean, against the activists from Free Keen, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully, urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me. I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.